Hi there, it's Sam from poodlestock.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's one of my infamous tent boxes. I love these. I love these because you need minimal cardstock, minimal paper, maximum impact. And I've made them in, oh, so many different sizes. This one particularly uses only half a length of cardstock and then just a scrap of designer series paper so yes you can get two from a sheet of cardstock whether it's international a4 or american eight and a half by 11 but actually i'm not going to make the box first what i want to do is stamp and die cut first because i'm going to do it in memento and i really really want it to dry first so is that going to be big enough i don't know that that's going to be big enough piece of paper um let me just grab some more and that should that's better <laughs> what's i gonna plan to do with that okay so oh i think we'll go with the girl today and i like the toadstools i think they're really cute yes i'll do those two why not so let me grab a couple of blocks and stamp her down and then the toadstools so cute I have toadstools in my garden not real ones mine are illuminated and why not okay oh, any excuse to get the little mini cut and emboss out hey yeah right so clear plate base plate another clear plate it's a base let me just scooch that out of the way for a second because I need my sticky notes that are mm, absent. Where have they gone? Mm, oh, underneath my notes. Right, so let me grab my dies. And whoopsie. So what am I going to need? I'm going to need her. Is that the toadstools? That's the toadstools. So I'm going to get this all lined up first. So what I want is the ink to have completely dried before I start doing any colouring with my blends. I didn't on the original one, I was far too impatient and we all know that patience is a virtue. Yes, I was too impatient and I've got a little, little smudgy going on. Oh, I confused myself for a second there. those out of the way so yes I want those to fully dry um, I don't know if you can see I had a little bit of a bleed issue going on so if this is fully dry by the time I finish making the box and I can colour I'll be a happy girl right so I'm just going to put those over here and yes as I said oh I can't pick up the cardstock you need a piece of cardstock that is four by 11 inches which in metric is 28 by uh, 10 centimeters so yeah you get two from a sheet of cardstock right on the long side score it at three and a half five and a quarter eight and three quarters and ten and a half so that's all in inches which in metric is nine thirteen and a half twenty two and a half and twenty seven I'm going to make little marks at four and three eighths of an inch, just a little mark, um, and at nine and five eighths of an inch, 
again just a little mark which in metric is 11 and a quarter and 24 and three quarters then on the short side so this is on the right but little marks are to the right on the short side score it at sorry <laughs> little marks are on the left they're on the left score it at two and three quarters of an inch which is seven centimeters <laughs> nearly <laughs> nearly tripped myself up okay and then that little mark there i'm just going to score down to create i suppose well the triangle i want the thin end and i think me talking has just woken up sorrel and berry um at the point in time i'm filming fauna is not free wandering around the house yet um although she might well be by the time you see the video but at the point in time i'm filming she's not so just to give the other two a little bit of peace really as much as anything okay so i'm going to burnish these This is coastal, no it's not, it's Bermuda Bay, nearly, nearly, it's not coastal cabana, it's Bermuda Bay. And I figured that it went with the parcels. So what I'm going to do, this is this thinny, thinny, thin skinny rectangle, just mitre the top a little bit and the bottom and then take that one away completely. And then cut straight on all of the rest. issues with my scissors today I have a bit there we go so it's just like that all separated so I'm going to put some adhesive down here and tear and tape will be my friend today and I'm going to put some more on these parts as well Take off the backing and then fold it round and then that's the back so I'm going to fold in two sides take that backing off because it doesn't completely meet oh look I've done that oh every time I've got glue there <laughs> I don't need glue there I now need to put something in the bottom so we'll grab something that is oh four by eight and a half inch let's just put a little bit of whisper white in the bottom to yeah take off the sticky we'll pretend I didn't do that oops there we go right so that's the front and when you push in at the sides we've already done this part so I'm going to start with my sheet of paper. Oh, I forgot to tell you the length of it is three and a half inches by eight inches, which is nine by 20 centimeters. And I'm going to start at the bottom and line that up and just gently pinch. And then I've, I'm holding that closed to then wrap the paper over and gently pinch and I don't want it too tight because I want the tent part to fault to slide on and off easily and just it's just loose it's not heavy duty or anything and all I want to do is swap out and put tape along this bit oh stuck that to my fingernail and then flung it across the room and back in with rewrap it round bend it round and again not too tight so that it slides in and out without any issue love it right I hope these guys are dry now so oh how should we decorate these let me lean that against that and then you guys can see so I want 
real red, that's not real red, that's cherry cobbler. Real red. I'm going to have crumb cake. I'm going to have Bermuda Bay and my Daffodil Delight. So not very different to before. Okay. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm coming in with the dark for the this part of my toadstool there. And there, whoops. This one. And then over with the light. And I, oh. <laughs> Going over the lines here. Oops. You can tell I'm concentrating, I'm not talking. <laughs> and it just gives a little gradient. And I think I'm going to go... Oh, this is a brand new one I just reordered. So just straight in with the dark there. I have no idea if that's the right colour or not. I'm not worried. And then some light. And I don't know if these are meant to be yellow. Probably not. They're probably meant to be green. That's okay. We can go yellow. And, oh, I might do a yellow parcel. Because I have dark at the bottom. I love an ombre effect. There we go on that one. And then my crumb cake. Again, I'm just going to do dark, but this time I'm going to, rather than straight lines, I'm, I'm sort of following the uh, where the grass part, well I'm guessing that's grass part, is underneath these toadstools and again just build it up. And apparently I'm losing my voice now. That's that one done and then oh, we're just going to use the shape of the snail. And sort of the more you go over, the more the colour moves around. She's got eyelashes, so she must be a girl. I was talking to my two older boys the other day at the dinner table. Well, actually, the, the dinner was over. Everybody else had left the table. It was just me and the two of them. And I was looking at them going, you've got my eye shapes, but you've got way better eyelashes than I have. And that's so unfair. I have to wear mascara to get the effect that they do. Not fair. Right. And then finally, we're going to go with the snail. And actually, I'm going to emulate this one here. So what you do is you, well, what I choose to do is just follow the swirl. And that was the dark. Oops. And then the light. And then I'm just going to keep going over that swirl. And get a nice 
nice ombre effect kind of ombre effect there too right so let's zoom out and dimensionals we'll take two for each stores there whoopsie and that is super cute that's a real any occasion because there's no sentiment on it but just love it I love those they're so cute thank you ever so much for joining me hope to meet you very soon bye